It's the most powerful show on television. High drama with intense energy. A show dedicated to a few brave souls who risk their lives for the sake of their craft. Its in-depth reporting goes to the core and unlocks the mysteries behind today's raciest sport. Motorsports, catch it when you can. Speed Station welcomes you to Gateway International Raceway in Madison, Illinois for the running of the Bomberito Auto Group 500. In the race analysis, today's event will take place over 100 laps. Stage 1 ends on lap 25 and Stage 2 ends on lap 50. Kevin Harvick wins the pole above Jimmy Johnson, Eric Jones, Kyle Busch, then Kurt Busch, then Tyler Ankrum, Dale Earnhardt Jr. in his second to last career start. Brad Keselowski, Brandon Jones, and Daniel Suarez round out the top ten. Gentlemen, start your engines! And there's the green flag at Gateway. Harvick off to a bit of a jump as the field heads off into turn number one. Now the 20 and 48 cars battle side by side for second with Eric Jones just barely edging ahead of that 48. Now the outside line is the preferred line going into turns three and four. Johnson with a push from Kyle Busch will take up second as the field heads off into turn number three. Now exiting turn four, the 20 car getting a run on the inside. So Kevin Harvick will lead lap one. Still the 20 and 48 battle for second. Joe Gibbs teammates Kyle Busch and Eric Jones battle for third position. Now Jones moving the 18 off the inside line. And in a drag race down the front straight, Kyle Busch still holds the third position. Fifth spot held by his brother Kurt as Kyle now takes a look to the inside of the 48. Down in one and two, the inside line is the preferred groove as you see the 18 car nudge ahead of the 48. But coming down to turns three and four, the 48 will have the advantage on the outside. See Johnson able to carry a little bit more momentum coming off the corner. Then the 18, he's going to get a bit of a run down the front straightaway. Right back up to the outside of the 18 car is Kurt Busch. Now takes a look to the inside of the 48, trying to take up third position. As it looks like Kyle Busch with a dive move into turn one will take up second position. Already you can tell the 18 car is a little bit better than the four car on the bottom. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is starting to fall back a little bit. He got past by Daniel Suarez and currently the, 18, the 83 car, excuse me, runs in ninth position. Kurt Busch once again taking another look to the inside of the 48. The ongoing battle for third position continues into turn one as Johnson tried diving it into the corner. Look at the run by the 23 car of Tyler Ankrum getting around the 20 car of Eric Jones to move up into fifth. Kyle Busch trying to get a run on the inside of the four car of Harvick. Obviously the 18 car is a little bit better than the four, but look at Jimmy Johnson with a run now to the back bumper of the 18, challenging Kyle Busch for second position. So now we have close to four cars under a blanket for the lead, with the 18 now trying to turn under the four, challenging Harvick for the lead. And here comes Kyle Busch under the four car of Kevin Harvick coming out of turn number four. At the start finish line, it will still be Kevin Harvick to lead that lap, but Kyle Busch is going to be able to dive it into turn one on the inside. Kyle Busch gets the momentum, and now they're going to have a drag race down the back straight. Now Kurt Busch trying to make a move on the inside. The 48 still going for third spot. And in the turn number three, Kyle Busch is now your leader at Gateway. The second ever leader of a cup race at this facility. So Brad Keselowski has gotten around Tyler Ankrum to move up into the fifth position. And here comes a run by Kurt Busch on the inside of the 48. Jimmy Johnson got slightly slowed up by Kevin Harvick, who appears to be fading. But Johnson getting a push from Brad Keselowski will retain the third position. Now the 57 and 23 cars run side by side. Looks like Kyle Larson will take up sixth spot off Ankrum. Kurt Busch and Brad Keselowski now battle for fourth, with Keselowski taking the spot around the outside of turn number four. Now Keselowski tries the crossover move down to the inside of Jimmy Johnson. He's getting a run coming off turn number two. 
And we should mention that Brad Keselowski is currently outside the top 20 in points. He'll have to win one of the next four races, or he will miss the playoffs for the first time since the year 2010. And Brad Keselowski will easily take up third spot off Jimmy Johnson coming out of turn four. Brandon Jones has moved up into the top 10 after getting around Dale Earnhardt Jr. in the 83. And still Kurt Busch and Jimmy Johnson battle for position. This time it is gunning for the fourth spot. As you see the two car of Brad Keselowski on the inside of Harvick, those two battle for second. Your regular season point leader Ryan Blaney currently runs in 31st position. This could be a great opportunity for defending race winner Clint Boyer to gain points and have a shot at winning the regular season title. Kyle Busch starting to put a slight gap above second spot Kevin Harvick as the four and two cars battle for the position. And Kyle Busch has clean air out front as you see the two car back down to the inside of Harvick entering turn number three. Kyle Larson on the outside got around Jimmy Johnson to move up into fourth position in the 57. So now it looks like the two car of Brad Keselowski on the outside line will take up second coming off of turn number two getting around the four car of Harvick. It looks like Kyle Larson will have the preferred line coming into turn three to try and take up third around the four. So now the 57 car of Larson has moved up into third. This track is starting to look almost like reverse Martinsville. The outside line is well preferred and the inside line leads to you getting steamrolled. As you see there, Jimmy Johnson really dove it into turn one, trying to take up fourth off Harvick. And still nobody is going to give that four car the outside line. As Jimmy Johnson has raced his way back up into fourth, Kurt Busch trying to take fifth off the four. Look at this, the 18 car got a little bit slow exiting turn number four, the two car of Brad Keselowski going side by side down the front straight. And the 18 closes the door on Keselowski, but the two car is clearly quicker than that 18. Kevin Harvick just drove right past the 48 car of Jimmy Johnson to retake the fourth position. And here comes Keselowski right back to the inside of the 18, just barely edges ahead as the field exits turn number four. Now we almost have a three wide battle for the lead as Larson's considering going to the inside. And now Brad Keselowski has taken up the first position coming off turn two. Kyle Larson will take up second in the 57. Jimmy Johnson back up into fourth position getting around the four car of Harvick. Tyler Ankrum currently runs in six as you see Harvick now back to the inside of the 48 into turn three. Johnson will prevail around the outside. Now here comes the 57 to the inside of the two. A three-man race for the lead. Kyle Busch giving the two car a bit of a shove down the front straight. Not sure whether he's trying to help or hurt the two car, but Keselowski will cut down in front of the 57 to retain the lead. Still Larson and Busch battling for the second position as it looks like into turn one. The 18 car of Kyle Busch will retain the spot. As you see the 4 and 48 cars still battling for the 4th position. Brandon Jones has slowly been marching up towards the front of the field, currently runs in 6th position in the 81. And here comes Kyle Busch once again with another run on to the inside of the 2. Keselowski does not have the preferred line coming off of turn 2, trying to pinch the 18 car down and get the momentum coming off the corner. And it looks like Keselowski has cleared the 18 down the back straight, that's going to put Kyle Busch in a bad position entering turn three with Larson on his outside. And it looks like Kyle Larson has taken up second position with the 18 car's mistake. Now the 48 and 81 cars battle for fifth position between Johnson and Brandon Jones. Just five laps to go in stage one and we still have a close to five to six man race for the lead out front. On the outside line, the 48 car of Jimmy Johnson prevails by getting around the 81 and currently remains in fifth position. Dale Earnhardt Jr. in the 83 car, currently runs in 10th position, is the best JTG Doherty entry so far. Larson had to back off entering the corner, but he tried backing up the corner. Now he's side by side with the two car of Keselowski. And remember, these two are going to slow each other down, which will bring the 18 and 4 cars back into this mix, with just two to go in the stage. Keselowski shuts the door on the 57 as Larson once again has to drive by the 18 car to take up second. And coming off turn four, the 18 car is taken up second getting around Larson as Brad Keselowski sees the white flag in stage one. And here comes Kyle Busch now, pulled up right to the back bumper of the two, coming off of turn two, and Busch takes a look to the inside as the field heads off into turn three. 
tries diving it into the corner. Keslowski's going to have the preferred line coming off the corner. Kyle Busch inches ahead. The two car trying to pinch him down on the inside line. And Brad Keslowski will win stage one. Kyle Busch in second, Kyle Larson third, Kevin Harvick fourth, and Jimmy Johnson in fifth. And if you're wondering why the 88 car is out of the race, he blew the engine on the front straight with just one lap to go in the stage. NASCAR on Speed Station is being brought to you by Built by Me Chassis and Engine Parts. By Smeat Heat, the real canned meat paste. And by Starton Park, the official motel brand of NASCAR. In the race off pit road, it is Brad Keselowski getting out in front of Kyle Larson Jimmy Johnson, Kyle Busch, and Brandon Jones getting up into the top five. The 20 car of Eric Jones also had a mechanical failure on pit road and is now out of the race as well, so we've had two cars out due to mechanical problems. Clint Boyer on pit road actually got all the way up to eighth spot, so once again that 14 team doing everything they can to gain points on the 12. And there's the green flag for stage two. two car got a pretty good jump above the 57 as they head off into turn number one the 48 car of Jimmy Johnson right on the back bumper of Larson as they exit turn number two already Keselowski put almost a three-tenths separation on the 57 exiting turn two now here comes Kyle Busch to the inside of Jimmy Johnson vying for third position and with a runoff turn four the 57 right to the back bumper the two now to the inside Larson has the preferred line entering turns one and two. Inches ahead of the two car as the 18 has taken up third off Johnson. Now they have a drag race down the back straight. The two car has the preferred line coming into the corner being on the outside. He can pinch the 57 down on the exit of four. Larson getting a bit of a run coming off the corner. Side drafted the two. At the start finish line it is the two car of Keselowski to barely lead that lap. And now the 18 and 48 cars are up into this mix. Larson about a half a car length in front of the two car. Keselowski's got a bit of a run on the outside down the back straight. Side by side as they enter turn three. Larson trying to dive it in. And Larson takes it. Kyle Larson is now your leader at Gateway. The winner at Nashville earlier this season, Joey Logano is now running side by side with the 48 going for fourth position. Now here comes the 18 car of Kyle Busch to the inside of Keselowski. They run side by side down the front straight at the stripe. It was the 18 car to hold second. Here comes the 22 car to the inside of the 48 entering turn one. That will move the 22 up into fourth as the 18 and two cars still battle for second. The gap between first to second is now out to six tenths with Larson putting a bit of a gap above the position. Now the 22 and 18 cars battle for third spot. Kyle Busch will take the position exiting turn number four and he's right up to the back bumper of Logano's teammate Keselowski. Now taking a look to the inside down the front straight. But the two car shuts the door on the 18 entering the corner. Keselowski once again starting to get a run on the 57 as Larson had a bad exit of turn two. Now here comes almost a three wide battle for second with the 18 car going to the inside of Keselowski. Two and 18 cars run side by side. Kyle Busch inches ahead down the back straight, but the two cars still has the preferred line entering turn three. Kyle Larson did not have a very good exit of turn number four, brought the 18 and two cars right back up to him. At the stripe, it was still the two car to hold up second spot. Kyle Busch will have the preferred line entering turn one. And it looks like Brad Keselowski has completed the pass for second off the 18 car of Kyle Busch. And look at who has now driven his way up into the battle for 10th position. That is Justin Allgaier in the 42. Clint Boyer on the inside of the 81 car battling for 6th position. Defending champion and defending race winner. Joey Logano and Kyle Busch still battle for 3rd position. Looks like Kyle Busch will take up the spot. Jimmy Johnson got side by side with the 22 car battling for 4th. But Joey Logano currently holds the spot with a run into turn number 1. Oh, look at William Byron, went extremely wide into turn number one. 
He currently runs in 21st position and just lost a spot to point leader Ryan Blaney. And here comes Kyle Busch back to the inside of the two. He will move up into second spot, right to the back bumper of the 57 of Larson. Still a two car of Keselowski trying to pinch that 18 car down on the inside line. Not allowing him to get any bit of a run coming off the corners for these long, long straightaways here at Gateway. Jimmy Johnson just moved Joey Logano up off the inside line. The, those two battle for fourth position. Now just 10 laps to go in stage two as the two car closes back into the back bumper of the 57 of Larson. Logano has been passed by Jimmy Johnson with the 48 moving up into fourth. And here comes the 18 car back to the inside of the two coming off turn four. Drag race down the front straight for the position. At the start finish line it was held by Kyle Busch. And Kyle Busch gets a run coming off of turn two, still inching ahead of that two car. But Keselowski will have the preferred line entering turn three. There you see the Stuart Haas teammates of Clint Boyer and Kevin Harvick battling for position. That will move Harvick back up in to the sixth position. He's trying to get around the 48 in the same move. That will move the four car of Harvick back up into fifth. Now Kyle Busch has his sights set on the 57 of Kyle Larson for the stage win. We now have a four-man battle for the lead with three Fords and one Toyota. As you see, Joey Logano in the 22 car has joined this front group. And Larson got a little bit tight exiting turn number four, the 18 car of Kyle Busch right to the back bumper, down the front straight. Now here comes Busch with a move to the inside, entering turn number one. Larson had to back out of the throttle slightly, but he's got the preferred line coming off the corner. And he will clear the 18 car of Kyle Busch down the back straight. The 42 of Justin Allgaier has just made his way up into the top 10 as he battles with the 95 of Christopher Bell. The 22 and two cars battle for third position. The Penske teammates going after it. As you see the four car of Kevin Harvick trying to get around Jimmy Johnson still for the fifth position. Kyle Busch backed up turn three, now to the inside of the 57. As they exit turn number four, they're going to be side by side down the front straight. Larson trying to clear the 18 car as they head off into turn number one. And he's got it. Once again, Kyle Busch backing up the corner, now side by side with the 57 off of turn number four. These two battling has brought the, f the two car of Brad Keselowski back up into this mix. Now Keselowski pinching the 18 car down on the exit of turn two, not allowing the 18 to get the run on the 57. And it looks like Brad Keselowski will take up second coming off of turn two. And Brad Keselowski has filed up in the second position. Had to back out of the throttle as they exited turn four. That's going to bring the 18 car right back to him. Just two laps to go in the stage. So Keselowski has now cleared the 18 car of Kyle Busch for second. The 22 car runs in third, now getting around the 18 as Larson sees the white flag in stage two at Gateway. Keselowski getting a run coming off of turn number four. Side by side with the 57 as Larson's going to be able to get the momentum coming off the corner and win stage two at Gateway. It's Larson above Keselowski, Logano, Kyle Busch, and Kevin Harvick. NASCAR on Speed Station is being brought to you by Built by Me Chassis and Engine Parts. By Smeat Heat, the real canned meat paste. And by Starton Park, the official motel brand of NASCAR. And the first car off pit road is Kyle Larson getting out in front of Logano, then Kyle Busch. Brad Keselowski and Clint Boyer getting up into the top five. On the first pit cycle after stage one, Kevin Harvick and Chris Buescher made contact coming off of pit road. So Harvick's stop was extremely long after stage two because they had to repair right side damage. Harvick will actually restart all the way back in 38th position. We've been seeing how hard it is to pass all day, so the odds of the four car getting a good finish seem pretty low now. And there's the green flag for the final stage. Logano gets a good jump on Kyle Larson as the field heads off into turn one as the 22 car already takes a look to the inside of the 57. And Logano easily takes the lead off Larson exiting turn two. 
with a power move on the inside. Now the 57 with a crossover on the 22 as they head off into turn three. Logano went extremely wide into the corner, missed the apex, and Larson is now back out front. Logano tries diving it into turn one as the 57 has the preferred lane. Kyle Busch slid up almost into the 22 as the 18 takes up second. So Clint Boyer has gotten around the two car Brad Keselowski to move up into fourth position. Oh, Newman and McDowell make contact. Michael McDowell into the wall and the caution flag is out for debris. And in the race back to the caution, it is Kyle Larson above Kyle Busch, then Joey Logano, Clint Boyer, and Brad Keselowski. This is right at the tail end of the field, the battle for 38th position between the 6 and 34. Austin Dillon makes contact with Ryan Newman, spinning the 6 down the 34 of Michael McDowell, hard into the inside wall, ricochets back up into the outside wall, and the caution flies. So we have only very few cars hitting pit road, that being Daniel Suarez and Denny Hamlin. However, the rest of the field stays out, so we got some strategy being played by the double zero and 11 teams. And Daniel Suarez pitting has handed 10th position over to the Geico 500 winner, Christopher Bell. Green flag. We got a car on pit road that pitted with the pace car. That being the 95 car of Christopher Bell, not sure why he forgave 10th position on the start, but that is not going to play out well for the 95 team. The 18 car of Kyle Busch right on the back bumper of the 57 down the back straight. Look at this, the 42 car of Justin Allgaier battling 2012 series champion Brad Keselowski for the fifth position. As you see both Ganassi cars, the one and 42 run side by side. Now the 95 car of Christopher Bell has fallen one lap down as he is on the access road coming out of pit road as the leaders exit turn two. Here comes the 18 car side by side with the 57 coming off turn two. Larson trying to dive it into turn number three and pinch the 18 car down on the exit of turn four. If he can hold the momentum coming off four, he could get the lead before the start finish line. And he has got it, although I'm not sure if he can clear the 18 before turn one. And Larson closes the door. So now we have a battle for fifth position between Kurt Busch, who is trying to make the playoffs, and Brad Keselowski, who is well outside the top 20 in points. As we are only within four races of Daytona, which is the regular season championship ender. And here comes Kyle Busch back to the inside of the 57. He backed up his entry of turn number three to get the run coming off four. And Kyle Busch has cleared the 57, although I don't think he'll cut up in front of Larson. Still giving the 57 the preferred lane into turn three. Trying to force that 57 car wide as Larson pulling up to the outside of the 18, getting a bit of a run coming off turn four. At the start finish line, it was still Larson to lead that lap. Larson really dove it into turn one hard outside of the groove as the 18 car pulled right back out in front of the 57. Larson trying the same move as he dove into turn number three, trying to get the momentum coming off four. Still side drafting that 18 car down the front straight. But that time Kyle Busch will lead the lap. And coming off turn two, the 18 cars once again clear the 57, and this time will slide up in front of Larson. And look at who has driven his way up into the top 10, that being the 24 car of William Byron. Odds of him making the playoffs this season seem extremely low, but he still could pull off a win at Daytona. I mean, you never know at that place. Look at the run by the 81 car to the inside of Johnson. Those two battle for seventh. And Ty Dillon currently runs in 11th position in the 13. Kurt Busch and Clint Boyer battle for fourth position. It looks like Kurt Busch will take up the spot with the 12 car of Blaney running well outside of winning contention. Well, remember Kevin Harvick's pit road troubles? He has driven his way back up into 24th position in the four car, and he still has 30 laps to go before the checkers fall, so he could make up quite a few spots. Chase Briscoe, who is a playoff bubble driver, currently runs 14th position, as point leader Ryan Blaney trying to go under him to make up more points and nullify the 14 car's advantage by being in fifth position. 
The field starting to spread out slightly. However, the 57 has not let the 18 car run away with the lead as they are still within three tenths. Yen Magnuson, who currently runs in 21st position, trying his hardest to stay in the top 30 in points. And as I say that, his engine blows. Caution flag is out. Well, I was going to say that he needs a good finish to stay in the top 30 in points and his win at Palm Beach to make him eligible for the playoffs, but this surely won't help him in the standings. In the race back to the caution flag, it was Kyle Busch above Kyle Larson, Joey Logano, Kurt Busch, and Clint Boyer. And the first car off pit road is Kyle Busch getting out in front of Kyle Larson, Joey Logano, Kurt Busch, and Clint Boyer just barely edges Keselowski for fifth. Dale Earnhardt Jr. has been quietly fading all day long, currently runs in 21st position in the 83. And this week, nothing bad has happened to Chase Elliott, no spins, no slips, no whatever, but he still runs in 24th position. The nine team just cannot make up points. Green flag, just 21 to go here at Gateway. The 57 gets a really good jump on the 18 as they head off into turn one, as we now have an almost three wide battle for the lead with Logano on the bottom. An extremely aggressive restart for the 22. Kyle Busch has got the preferred line around the outside and he's got help from his brother. Not always do those two get along. Larson trying to dive it into the corner. Gets up right side by side with the 18. At the start finish line, it will be led by Kyle Busch. Into turn one, the 18 car dives it into the corner to slide down in front of the 57. Now the one car of Kurt Busch trying to take up the spot around the outside. And now Kurt Busch has taken up second with the Busch brothers leading the field. Defending champion Clint Boyer trying to get a run around the outside of Larson to move up into third. Kurt Busch has not won a single Cup Series race since August of 2018, and what a way it would be to go back to victory lane, beating his own brother. But as I say that, now the 14 car pressures the one, entering turn three. Coming off of turn number four, the 14 car inches ahead of the one. Boyer has the preferred line, exiting turn number two. But Kurt Busch still trying to pinch that 14 car down. Kyle Busch got extremely tight coming off turn number two. Brought the 14 and one cars right back to him. As you see the 57 car getting back up into this mix. Now Clint Boyer tries diving it into turn three. Oh, Kyle Busch slipped up off the racetrack. That's going to let the 14 put the bumper to him. But still, Kyle Busch holds the lead. Kurt Busch went a little bit wide entering turn number one, let the 14 car back up to his inside. Down the back straight, the one car just barely cleared the 14, trying to slide in underneath his brother, now challenging the 18 car for the lead. Side by side, down the front straight. Kyle Busch will lead lap 84. Kurt's going to try and dive it into turn one. Almost clears the 18 car, going to have to slide up coming off turn two. And Kurt Busch has taken the lead. Kyle Busch, though, right back to the outside of his brother. He's going to try and get some momentum coming off turn four. Just a little bit outside of the groove. And Kurt Busch still holds the lead, but look at Kyle making the crossover down the front straight. Kurt Busch dove it in, but he went a little bit too wide. But he's going to get... A run coming off turn number two to clear the 18. There you see the two and 57 cars battle side by side for the fifth position. With the 24 car of William Byron finally starting to show himself around the top five. And we still have a three man race for the lead out front between the 118 and 14 cars. Here comes Kyle Busch back to the inside of the one. Kurt's going to try and pinch that 18 car down coming off turn four. And Kurt Busch can once again clear the 18 down the front straight. And right up in front of Kurt Busch is the lap car of Daniel Suarez. Wonder if that double zero car will be a factor late in the going. 
Now Justin Allgaier in the 42 has started to creep his way back up towards the front as he battles the 24 car of William Byron for sixth position. Now a four-man race for the lead with the 57 getting right up to the back bumper of the 14 of Clint Boyer. Look at the separation between the top four cars. They are within six tenths of each other. Looks like we're looking for another exciting finish as the 18 car gets another run to the inside of the one. We are now under caution. Caution lights are on. Kurt Busch is your leader above Kyle Busch, then Clint Boyer, Kyle Larson, and Brad Keselowski. So in the battle for eighth position, Brandon Jones in the 81 spins the 22 car of Joey Logano around and impacts the outside wall exiting turn number four. Right up in front of the 99 and 48 cars, they split him, but the 55 nails him. Point leader, uh, the 12 car of Ryan Blaney makes contact with him. A hard impact between the 17 and 22. Several cars involved, including the 11 car of Denny Hamlin. Logano went upside down in this crash. Here's on board with the 22. Man, they sure saved the worst wreck for last, didn't they? So hey, after that incident, the 12 car of Ryan Blaney is out of the race and will finish in 35th position, but second in points, Clint Boyer runs in third position and has a very good shot at winning his second consecutive race. So the regular season championship battle is not over by any stretch of the imagination. So after that crash, the cars out of the race are Ryan Priest, Ross Chastain, Ryan Blaney, Denny Hamlin, Joey Logano, and Chris Buescher. Quite a devastating wreck in the last 10 laps. But by avoiding the mess, Ty Dillon has taken advantage of it and moved all the way up to 8th spot in the 13 car. So we are going to get a restart with just 5 laps to go, with the Bush brothers leading the field and Clint Boyer in 3rd. I can't think of any better setup for a race finish. Green flag, just 5 laps to go. The 1 car gets a very good jump above the 18. As you see, the 57 already trying to make a move to the inside, the 14 car of Clint Boyer. As those two battle for third, the one car of Kurt Busch starting to put a bit of a separation above second. Kyle Busch must not have a very good short run car, as it looks like he is slowing up both the 14 and 57 cars of Boyer and Larson behind him. Kurt Busch went just a little bit wide, but here comes the 14 down to the inside of the 18, battling for second. Into turn one, the 18 car cut off the 14 of Boyer and will retain the second position. The 57 and two cars still go after it, battling for fourth spot. The 57 will have the preferred line entering turn number three. So now the 57 still remains in fourth with the 14 and 18 cars still battling for second. The gap between first and second has been extended out to half a second with just two laps to go. William Byron went a little bit wide in his entry to turn one let the 42 car of Justin Allgaier to his inside to take up sixth. And there is the white flag for Kurt Busch at Gateway. Still the 14 and 18 cars battling. That's allowed Kurt Busch to extend his lead out to seven tenths. And it looks like Clint Boyer will take up second coming off turn two, but he's not going to have enough time to catch up to the one car of Kurt Busch who is on cruise control now. And for the first time since August 2018 at Bristol, Kurt Busch goes back to victory lane at Gateway and punches his ticket to the playoffs. And guess what? That means all 16 spots in the playoffs have been taken up by winners. So Kurt Busch finally scores another victory above Clint Boyer, Kyle Busch, Kyle Larson, Brad Keselowski, Justin Allgaier, William Byron, Ty Dillon, Matt DiBenedetto, Martin Truex Jr. Also make note of Dale Earnhardt Jr. finishing in 12th position. In the regular season standings, Clint Boyer has significantly cut Ryan Blaney's point lead. It's down to 45 points. Then Kevin Harvick moves up to third in points. Kurt Busch moves up a full four spots in points up to fourth. Martin Truex Jr. moves up to fifth. Joey Logano falls down to sixth. Daniel Suarez falls to seventh. Chase Briscoe goes up to eighth. Denny Hamlin falls down to ninth. And Kyle Busch moves up to tenth. In the playoff standings, every single driver is locked in, so there's not too much to say until someone else wins, making it 17 different drivers with a win, which will then turn into a battle for points for the 16th spot in the playoffs. 
The next race that we broadcast here on the Speed Station will be back to covering the NTT Data IndyCar Series as we will be covering their championship finale out in Fontana, California in the Auto Club 300. You can catch it all right here on the Speed Station.